be honest, there's not much to talk about, but there are a few conflated and confused things that's going around about the situation. So let's talk about them. Three days ago, me and my family went to Sweetly Season Food Truck. Number one, nobody had any idea we was coming. They found out we was in Dallas like everybody else found out we was in Dallas because we was posting videos in Dallas. So in hopes of us coming, they had t-shirts made and they was on live all day. So me and my family wasn't in cahoots with none of this. We was all under the impression that they were a team and this was a normal routine for them. The barber being there, the braider being there, family being there, a lot of people being there. This is our first time here. We are customers. We have no idea what's going on behind the scenes. Number two, I was never under the impression that haircuts was free. Again, my family was watching the lives. We knew that he was cutting hair for $40. So when we walked up and I said, I want to get $1,000 to the barber to do free haircuts and $1,000 to the braider to braid hair, it was because in the original video, the son said it was slow due to marketing. That's marketing. God willingly, after we post a video, there will be a line out the door. If there's a line out the door and there's a barber and a braider doing hair while people are waiting, that's marketing. So again, it's in a hood. You play some music, you cutting hair, you braiding hair, you're all sitting out, you're having fun. It's a parking lot barbecue. So again, we don't know the behind the scenes if they knew each other, if they didn't know each other. And the reason why I didn't pay everybody individually, the interaction that you see looked longer than what it was. It was really only like a five minute interaction. Within that five minutes, 30 to 40 people pulled up. They was pulling up in drove. That parking lot was getting deep, fast. And for me and my family's safety in general, I don't ever carry cash around. And nine times out of 10, if we tip, we always do it through the POS system. And even if we wanted to do it a different way, Zelle and Apple Pay wasn't an option because it was four or five people at the same time on live. So for safety reasons, they wouldn't be able to say their phone numbers or their personal information out loud. And as far as them taking my phone and putting their number in on Zelle themselves, I wouldn't hand my personal phone to nobody. So the POS system was the option that made the most sense. I've learned through this journey that sometimes it's deeper than the food, it's deeper than the marketing, it's deeper than the customer service. And this is one of those cases in my opinion. Sweetly Season got a lot to figure out and I thank God in advance that they do figure it out. The last thing I'm gonna touch on is the son is misconstruing something that I said and I don't appreciate it. After I said out loud in detail what we deemed the money to be used towards, I also said y'all can divvy it out how y'all feel necessary. Meaning after the money hits because it's a POS system, it don't hit the same day. Y'all can send it out through Apple Pay, through Zelle, through Cash App, through Check, through Cash. However, y'all feel necessary to spread it amongst the team. I thought and I still think that that's a very clear statement, but it's being misconstrued, in my opinion, intentionally misconstrued that I said and the mom and the son can say who get the money and who don't get the money. <laughs> So Keith Lee did tell her to distribute the money how she felt necessary. I never said that. Regardless of what was going on behind the scenes, I felt on my heart to do what we did. So for the mom to go on the back end and disregard where my heart was at and what I felt like God was telling me to do in that moment and distribute the money how she felt necessary is 100% wrong in my opinion. I see the memes and I see the jokes, but I am not in the business of shutting businesses down. Her actions did not sit right with y'all and her customer base. That resulted in the situation that she in today. We just ate the food and left a tip pray in advance that everybody in this situation stays safe. That's my biggest concern. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. God bless you. Have an amazing day. All right, y'all. I'm back again with a quick update on the whole situation that took place with Keith Lee, the food truck lady, the one who runs Sweetly Seasoned LLC, and her son and uh, Sharia. That's her name, if I'm not mistaken. Sharia. It's a whole situation going on, and if you don't know what's going on with this whole situation, you might want to go watch the video from earlier because I'm not going to break every single thing down that took place with this whole situation, but I will probably put videos at the end so you can get caught up to speed on everything. But basically, long story short, Keith Lee did a review. He came to, to Dallas, Fort Worth area and things like that. He's been doing reviews to help struggling businesses out and just doing reviews, basically. It ain't necessarily got to be a struggling business, but he's just out there doing what he do. I'm going to put it like that. And um, in the midst of him doing what he does, he helps people, you know, grow. And he went to this person's food truck. And when he went to the food truck, he left a tip. And the tip, he said where he wanted the tip to go to, but the owner of the food truck decided to keep all of the money and it's been causing a whole bunch of confusion. So now she went viral everywhere all over the world and people are very, very upset with her for being so greedy and, um, you know, spiteful in this situation. You know, Keith Lee said he wanted the money to go to someone. She feel like they didn't deserve it because they didn't do certain things, you know, and I mean, why would somebody do something that they really don't even know you? They rather, you know, wait till the money clears and you can actually have the funds readily available for them after they, you know, do the services that they were supposed to do. But yeah, so she did another update video on everything. And I'm gonna show y'all for those who didn't see it, I'm gonna put that at the end, where she was basically just doubling down on not on not giving the money to the people who deserved it. But she came out today after all this backlash. It took this much backlash for her to say, I'm gonna give them the money back. Now I really feel like that her greed got in the way because she's feeling to realize that she let 
a little four thousand dollars stop her from making forty thousand to a hundred thousand probably in the next year. You know what I'm saying? Here, probably this much she could have came up on five or ten more thousand dollars just by simply doing the right thing. Now, when you're out here being greedy and shysty and shit like this, stuff like this is gonna always happen to you. You'll never prosper in life if you're doing the wrong things. You know what I'm saying? And even if you do prosper, it won't last long. It won't feel like shit. It's just so many different things that can go into that that won't amount to nothing. You feel me? But overall, she got the um, nerve to come out and say shit. She can come pick up the money. She been trying to give her the money and the girl didn't want to um, pick up the money. And, and when I say the girl, I mean Sherelle. She didn't want to pick up the money and things like this. Sherelle responded, so I'm going to let y'all watch all of that. And I'm going to holler at y'all at the end of this video. And let me know your thoughts and opinions on this. I feel like this shit, you know, once you're in a position to do the right thing, you should do the right thing. And if you don't, you will be, you know, facing consequences on your actions. But yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all at the end of this video. Let me know your thoughts and opinions at the end, honestly. But yeah, I'm going to holler at y'all in a minute. Because uh, my son, he already called uh, or texted, however, he got in touch with Sherelle and asked her if she can come pick up the money. From what I hear, she is refusing to get it. So now I am asking, and uh, I'm asking my followers to please tag her and act, tell her Sweetly Season is asking her to please come pick up their money. Okay, I am here on um, Forest Lane in Ardelio Road. Please, and also if you guys want to come out and support, please, I am here. I'm not going anywhere. All right, thank you. See, this is this ungenuine, gaslighting ass bullshit that I was talking about. You text me and you said, I got the money, I'm at home. You're more than welcome to come and get it. You're more than welcome to meet me, whatever. I respond back to you and I say send it to my brother and what do you say you said I have cash where you at I said I'm home but I'm busy and then you say the rest of this stuff right here you keep trying to spit in my face and make it seem like this shit was for clout when you originally knew that I was coming out there solely to connect with Keith Lee it was never a clout situation. If it was a clout situation, all that shit would have been me. I would have been wearing my brand. <clears throat> I would have brought my books. I would have had all my cameras set up. This shit, I would have made that shit about me. And for you to sit here and still try to give an ultimatum talking about will she choose clout or will she choose money? You know what I want to choose? <clears throat> I want to choose an apology. I want to choose for your mom to get that thousand dollars in her hand and to come and apologize to me for one downplaying the role that i played in all of this and for two acting as if you were the sole reason that all of this shit happened you want to know what you're the sole reason of you're the sole reason of why your mom will never succeed in the city of dallas my city see i was cool I was going to let it steam off. I was going to let it just relax and chill. I even made it my personal mission to not make another video about this shit because I did not want you to say that I was going to be doing this shit for clout. Now, if you want to get technical, this is a clout video. This is a clout video. I said that I was going to come and talk to you. I said that I was going to try and like work some shit out. I even told you that I didn't want the money. Send it to my brother. Yesterday you lost your bank card. Today you got cash. I'm just really confused about the whole situation. But another thing that really threw me for a loop, you sat here on this platform and you lied. You told these people that you did not invite me. You told these people that my kids are missing. You told, you get what I'm saying? You said all of this demeaning, counteracting ass bullshit and I'm supposed to chunk it up and mend the relationship when you still lying, bro. You still lying. Your mom does not have the audacity to approach me and say, look, I apologize. This is bigger than money. I've made that money fucking 10 times since. Come on, this shit is bigger than money, Trey. I want you to be as solid as you claim to be. You get what I'm saying? You want me to go on my platform and you want me to erase every video. I want you to get on your platform. I want your mama to get on her platform and I want you to apologize. That's it. I want you to apologize for humiliating me. I want you to apologize for humiliating my brother. I want you to apologize 
for what y'all did to Keith Lee. Now, when you find it in your heart to do that, we'll come holler at you about that band. We'll come holler at you about this friendship. All of that. Because if you wanted to do right, you know my brother's in Louisiana and I told you I did not want that money. I told you I didn't want it. I did what I did because of the kindness of my heart. Not because, oh, I'm expecting something. No, I told you and I stood on that. The fact that you on here saying I'm asking for donations. Do you know how many platforms I done touched in this whole scenario? you know how many times people done inbox me ready to send me $1,000? If I had taken the $1,000 from all these people that done inbox me, I'd have over $100,000 right now. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's deeper than that. It's only one person that can say, I sent her brother $1,000 because what they did was fucked up and you still sitting on this app. You still sitting on my internet. You still sitting on this motherfucking platform and acting as if you did nothing wrong. I'm with you when you're right. You didn't do anything wrong. Keith Lee didn't pay your business. He paid your mama. But you know where you did mistakenly fall out of the characteristics and the standards that I held you to? was when I realized that my friend, the same friend that'll check me when I'm wrong, could not check his own mama. So don't get on this internet and pretend and act as if everything cool, calm, and collect, sweetheart, cause it's not. What you did, you play with my character. You play with me as a human being. You play with me as somebody who would've went to war with God behind you. So I am not gonna sit here and say, oh, you gave me the $1,000, so everything's cool, calm, and collect. We're best friends now. Da, da 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 No, sir. No, sir. The same platform you use to call me a liar is the same platform I need you and your mama to go on and say, yes, Sherelle was definitely running my cash register. Sherelle was definitely invited. I definitely asked Sherelle to tell her little brother that he needed the money more than school to come over here and drop some motherfucking fries. Until you can drop your nuts and say that shit, there is nothing we could talk about. And that $1,000, if you ain't going to send it to my brother, I'm not meeting you to get it in cash. This is about the principle. And y'all feel like y'all can throw money or try to easily correct some shit and make all these weird-ass subliminal-ass weird-ass fucking messages and, and videos and all of this other-ass shit. No, sir. No, sir. But you know what I do know as well? You see all of the shit that's transpiring. You see all the connections that I'm making. You see all of this, that, then a third. And here you come, crawling back. Which is perfectly fine. But had you been crawling back in the proper mindset, in the proper manner, we could have worked some shit out. I was the one that was there for you. I was the one that would bend over backwards for you. I was the one putting together pieces of the puzzle that you did not know how to put together. And until you can stand on ten toes and respect me for what's going on, I ain't got nothing to say, baby. Have a good day. All right, now that y'all seen what y'all seen, let me know what y'all feel about the whole situation. Like I said before, I feel like that, you know, her evil, spiteful ways is going to cause her a whole bunch of money. She's going to lose a lot of money, free promotion, everything. She's not even realizing that she could have gave Sherelle them that money, and they probably would have been promoting her even more to help her get more business and customers. She blocked her blessings in so many different ways. And for her to say that she don't feel like the dude didn't deserve that money, the one who was cutting the hair, it's just really, really crazy because you're blocking people's blessings. Like they always say, some blessings come out of nowhere. And there was one that I think was supposed to come out of nowhere. She just didn't want it to go through. And that's on her. She got to deal with the consequences of her actions. And I'm pretty sure that her business will suffer the consequences as well. Just for the simple fact that people don't like the way that she was moving. And when it was, you know, very tasteless and it lacked so much integrity but overall let me know your thoughts and opinions on this i just have to give y'all a quick update so y'all can get caught up to speed on everything but her business has not been shut down and you can't believe everything that you see on the internet some people got to realize that you can report a page over and over and over you can report certain things as far as like businesses and stuff like that and it'll like get temporarily you know terminated until they can do further reviews on it and stuff like that and then it'll be right back up. But that's all I got to say. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'm going to run the other video so y'all can see what the hell she was talking about earlier. And uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. I'll holler at y'all later. All right. I am just a person who's trying to make it every day. I want to give a shout out to my son for marketing me. Um, I don't know how many of you guys follow him. But because of him, that is the reason why I keep Lee came to visit me now 
when I arrived that day, the only reason why Sherelle was there, and I don't know her that well, I don't know her that well, the only reason why she was there is because my son asked her to be there, I guess, I don't know, and then she said that she wanted to meet Keith Lee, so she just wanted to be there. So it wasn't that she was working for me, she really just wanted to be there for Keith Lee. Uh, but I want to give a shout out to her anyway, you know, because her and my That's not, that's how the video is. It's not me, ain't nothing I got going on or nothing like that. People must be calling her or some shit. Hey, she frozen. Okay, they went on Facebook Live, Instagram, I don't know what platform it was, and they were marketing me, trying to get him out there to see me. So I still want to thank her for doing that. And yes, she do deserve to be compensated for that. But she will not even talk to me about that. You know? Um, now, Getting to the nitty gritty. Mm -hmm. So we all out there. And my son called this guy. I guess that's her brother. I didn't know him. Never seen him. To come cut his hair. And he came out there to cut his hair. He plugged his thing into my generator. And he cut his hair. I'm in a food truck. I'm going crazy because I know he's coming. And I'm trying to get, so I'm not fully aware of what's going on outside, y'all. So, next thing I know, I see a girl running, and Sherelle running, they hug, and I'm like, who, you know, who is that? Come find out, she was supposed to be been braiding no girl here, but she told her to come out there because she didn't want to miss Keith Lee. So, when Keith Lee did arrive, it looked as if they were with me. And it looked as if they was doing free. They was with you, though. And they was promoting. You said it yourself, though. They calling the hell out of her. Damn, somebody blowing her phone up. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Um, so she was braiding her. And he was cutting her. He should, she should have just gave him the braid. She still would have been up there. I feel like Lev Max and Martin Luther King with so many hate calls all night long threatening me. Now I know some of you guys is not going to be on my side because y'all Phone is going crazy. I just it's been like that. I'm trying to get this out. I know you just... I'm trying to find some updates while this shit tripping. Some of you guys is not going to be on my side because you are very big fans of hers. I hear that she's a big TikToker. I don't know much about her. All I know is, I built this business from the ground up. Me and my son. And for her to even think, because she called somebody out there just to bring her here, that she deserved a thousand dollars and try to make it seem like. Now I could see if when Keith Lee said. Give that barber a thousand dollars for free haircuts. He should have said, anybody, come on. Who wants their haircut for free? Come on. Then he would have deserved it. Then no, because you didn't give him the money. I'm not finna be doing all of these heads and shit. And then I don't even know if you finna come, you know what I'm saying, pay me after I do all of these heads and a thousand dollars worth of haircuts. Bro, you got to do a lot of damn haircut. But anyway, go, even if he did 10 people's hair, you still should have gave him the thousand dollars in my personal opinion. Some of y'all going to be selfish minded and think like, no, no, no. I say, yes, yes, yes. Get it. I'm about to say to that nigga, get that man that money. Get him the money. She being selfish right now. You got to quit that, bro. All that 
Man, you can't prosper like that, bro. Let's go. That would have made him with me. Because now you're helping me. You're shining on me. This man was not with me. He was only solely there. Because my son called him to cut my hair. Now, I would love to do the right thing. And I feel like I did do the right thing. Now, for her, and then I told her, on top of that, I didn't even have the money. He paid with a credit card. The money just hit the bank account today. I'm going to give my son what he deserves. And I will give her some what she, because she did market me that morning, but that's all she did. And he, I don't even know who he is. The barber? That's my son's head. He wasn't with me. Keith Lee, I heard he thought that they were my kids. They're not my kids. Th those were my son friends. But this ain't even about money, y'all. This is about the principle. How dare you come and make it seem like this was something that it wasn't. You were supposed to be out there to support Sweetie Season, a struggling business. And then you turn around and make it seem like it was something that it wasn't. I dare you. I dare you. And yeah, for everybody, I'm just, I'm getting emotional because y'all have no idea how much work and effort I put into my business. And I don't know if this was going to make me a great one. I don't know, but I know I got God. And God is the one that told me to go to school. And go to school again. I've been flourishing ever since. I have won chef awards. I have done a lot of things. And I have a lot of upcoming things that I plan on doing. I don't think I'm wrong. I don't think I'm wrong. And if I'm wrong, I'm going to keep Lee to tell me. After him knowing the truth now. If that man tell me to give them the money, I'll give it to him. Because I've been doing, I'm in for doing the right thing. If he tell me to give them that money, knowing that they was not with me, and, and just to let y'all know she's a scammer. Damn, <laughs> what the hell? Yes, give and you will see. That's true. He already told me to. He told me, yeah, he did. He said, he listen closely. Go to the video. No, Go no, to the no. video and listen closely to what he says. He says, give that barber the uh uh a thousand dollars for free haircuts. There was no free haircuts. My son paid him. There was no free haircuts. He wasn't even there for that. He was never there for that. Do y'all understand what I'm saying? We understand it, but I mean, you know, like like the girl was saying a while ago, Sherelle, you blocking somebody else's blessings. You know, she blessings come out of nowhere sometimes, and they were just his, in my personal opinion. And who's going to go do a service? Who's, who's going to go perform a service without actually knowing that the money will be given to them? Like you just said, you don't even know him like that. So why would he trust you to go ahead and do 50 haircuts and not even get the goddamn money? You know what I'm saying? That's just me being 100. I'm not here to pick and choose sides and shit like that. But right is right and wrong is wrong. And I feel like that it is wrong not to give him that money. Especially, now look, if he would have came, well really, he was supposed to come once the money cleared and do his job. In my personal opinion now. But... You know, overall, I just feel like once he said what he said, it should have went that way. And I'm stuck on that right there. But I can understand where she's trying to come from a little bit. But overall, that was just a random uh, act of kindness. You know what I'm saying? That he displayed out there. You know? And I feel like that it should have just went that way. And then you get to keep her thousand. So, mm -hmm, let's go. He was never there. Money just makes shit go wrong all the time, bro. Well, greed does. Not the money here. The love of it. Mama gotta go blow her nose.
Might be Tyrus, not Snothead. I don't know. Oh, the free food. I, that's a lie. That's a lie. I gave, I, I was supposed to close at 5 o'clock, but Keith Lee came right before that. So. Now, nah, Mama knows running. Shit, Mama need to blow a nose. I set out to 9 o'clock giving out free food <laughs> to okay. everybody. That is a lie. That is a lie. And then for uh for when Keith Lee D came, I don't understand why that girl jumped in the pictures when she is not a part of us. She should not have been in any of the pictures. She didn't even belong there. Mm. You just said that when she took that picture. Oh honey, I don't baby, baby. Tears. I ain't trying to cry for a pig. God, I serve a God, and I, I'm going to do the right thing. Damn, they messing up the video. It's going to be over anyway here. Just hanging out. Yeah, I'm gonna end this, and I I hope to see you guys. I'm not gonna let this stop me. Uh, I hope to see you guys. I have some great things coming up. Um, it is what it is. Hold it down. We'll holler. It was everything. You cannot believe everything you hear, and you cannot believe what people say. Facts is facts. Okay, that's the uh, part that they were talking about that's going to come up. But I got to say my last statements before I keep on pushing. Basically, long story short, you know, I want to say this. When you act a certain way behind money, man, you'll never be blessed. You know, some people don't realize this shit. And I mean, you might be going through trials and tribulations because your heart not right. You know, and it's just hypothetically speaking because I just can't say that she's a bad person off of this one incident. But I do want to say that it's a crazy situation when you can hear on camera what this boy is saying, what he's saying to y'all about this money. And you still try to find a way to wiggle up out of that. It's understandable that he's not a part of y'all. Y'all already came up $5,200. Come on now. If he said that about this and then she giving you her thousand, I feel like it should have just evened out and she, it should have just went that way from there. Now, I can understand what she's saying wholeheartedly, you know what I'm saying, to a certain extent because I feel like she, you know, somebody is coming around me that I don't even know getting some money. But I, I ain't got that type of hatred in my heart. Not saying she's hateful, but I feel like that is some type of hatred that you would have for someone. If you're not going to just do that, in my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all can say what y'all want to say. I'm not here to argue with y'all last about that. Now, I just feel like that is kind of hateful. You know what I'm saying? I have to go ahead and just get that money to that boy. Now, true enough, he didn't perform the service. I wouldn't have gave it to him until he completed giving full haircuts to everybody out there that day, the next day, whenever the money cleared. But as of, you know what I'm saying, right then and there, why would he tell everybody to come do this and do that if y'all really gen genuinely don't know each other, you know? And look, the only thing that I don't agree with about Sharia Port, she was calling her out of her name, but I already know she's mad as hell, and that's just how some people just are, you know what I'm saying? They're going to talk they shit the way that they want to talk they shit. And I can't tell the woman what to do. That's just the only thing that I don't agree with. But other than that, I can understand the frustrations. Her brother's trying to get on his feet. He's trying to, you know what I'm saying, do something positive and shit like that. And then he came across a blessing like that. Hey, yeah, I'd be mad too, you know, especially if you know that your brother been going through trials and tribulations. I'm not saying that he has. I'm just saying that, you know, just in case, there might be a reason why she's so triggered. But overall, you know, I feel like that Keith Lee will say something about it. But if he don't, it's understandable as well because nobody wants to be a part of all that other shit. But if he want to clear the smoke, clear the air, whatever the case may be, that's what's up. But if anything, he, I, probably, I, I feel like he'll probably come get that boy some money. You know what I'm saying? Here, I'll give you a thousand. Just to go ahead and let her keep on going and y'all go ahead and go y'all way and everything. I can go ahead and just be done. But overall, man, I see what I had to say. It's a long uphill battle with them in this whole situation but i'm pretty sure that it would de-escalate over time you know what i'm saying especially due to the fact of it being on social media like that but our money not good money you know just because you receive that money don't mean that it was a good thing at the end of the day because you know you're not doing the right things with the money now her throwing this video out there about you 
could possibly cause you to lose some money. You know what I'm saying? People don't want to deal with certain people or do business with people if they feel like they janky or if they feel like that they aren't good-hearted people. You know what I'm saying? But um, like they say, all publicity is good publicity. I don't feel like that all the time, but, you know, in most cases it is. I just hope that they can get this shit together, man. I hate to point fingers and shit and say certain things. I'm not trying to be biased in this at all, but I just feel like that with me hearing him say that for myself, I can genuinely say that he should have got that money after it cleared and he performed the services that he was supposed to perform to get, receive the money. Now, him just getting the money, nah. But if he went out there and did what he was supposed to do the next day or the following two days, whenever the money hit, yeah, he should have got that money. But overall, let's say what I had to say. I want to know y'all thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. Y'all leave a comment. Let me know how y'all feeling. I'm going to let the rest of this video play right here. But other than that, I didn't say what I had to say. And if they give an update or something like that, I might put it on my community wall. I just don't want to keep on... You know what I'm saying? Talking about this shit because it really is an open and shut case in my eyes, you know. But I'll holler at y'all later on another video and I appreciate each and every one of y'all who made it to the end of this video. I'll holler at y'all later though. All right. The tacos, she gave a nine. Okay. I will tell you, no promises. Okay. Y'all might need some more people. I know. It might get a little crazy within the next couple hours. Oh my God. No okay. promises. I can't promise nothing. I appreciate y'all for having this. I see y'all getting our haircuts since you were Oh, little brother, yeah. yeah. He wants to leave a thousand dollars to the barber so he can cut he, everybody else. Oh, that's my little brother. He wants to go pick up my baby brother from school. We want to leave you a thousand dollars to do it. To cut hair. We want to leave you two thousand dollars. Oh my god. Yeah, I just did. Yeah, so please charge my car for four thousand dollars and y'all switch it to y'all DV however y'all feel necessary. Oh my god. Thank you. 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 Thank you.